We're going to watch Consuelo Sargoza, the quietest board member. She doesn't do any pontificating at all. One thing I like about her, she doesn't get up there and make these ridiculous speeches like some of the others. She's on the Transit Equity Com Committee, it turns out. And, um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, from all my years working there and all my years watching TriMet, operations. I don't believe there's any transit equity at TriMet. I think it's a, a ruse and a fraud. I, I worked on the west side as TriMet to destabilize the lives of uh, hundreds of people cutting the west side runs, specifically the 67 and the 89. The old 89 is not around anymore. And I watched the misery, and I'm, and I'm not making that word up, the misery that was uh, shoved onto the riders out there as TriMet realigned its services primarily for the Green Line, okay, which sucked down a lot of resources and they had to get it from somewhere, so they got it from the West Side service area. Uh, they talk a good game. They don't provide equity. I'm sorry. Where, where is the decision on the three-hour transfer? How many months are you going to drag out the three-hour transfer decision on Opal, okay? It cannot be good news for Opal because what's the problem? They've already evaluated it a year, more than a year ago, and they said no. Now, now these, they're in talks. They're in talks. There's nothing to talk about. Either you do it or you don't do it. But this pontificating about it, what really bugs me about that is how these, you know, I love Opal. I think they're doing great work, and thank God they're there because without without them, there'd be nothing happening. Uh they're complimentary to these to this board. You know, I, I just cringe every time I hear one of those Opal members get, putting praise on the board. The board has been a co-conspirator in McFarland's plans here. McFarland stole himself a raise when he cut your services. I'm never going to stop talking about that because th that is the one incident that tells you about the people that you have here running TriMet. He hit himself a raise at the same time he cut your service and raised your fare. He hit it. And all of a sudden, nobody wants to talk. You know, the mainstream media is practically useless. You know, they, they, don't, they don't cover the this, this stories. So you, you, the, equi the idea of transit equity here is a joke. Yeah, there's transit equity for disadvantaged business enter enterprises. That seems to actually be true. From what I've been watching, it does seem they do a pretty good job funneling some of this obscene wealth. And you're talking about millions and millions of dollars going through the doors over there. It's not about transit over there. It's about money. Anyway, she makes her little speech. It's I don't I can't even understand what she's saying. Never mind. Get get the content. Something about Title Six. I have no. I don't know what that is. You know, I find the whole thing a charade. I'm, I'm sorry. I know everybody. Oh, you're negative. You're negative. You're ne yeah. I'm negative all the time because there's nothing good happening here. They're trying to destroy the union employees, and they're trying to. They've already destroyed the riders. All right, then let's move on to the Transit Equity Advisory Committee. Good morning, um, Consuelo Saragosa. We had a meeting last week which was very um, interactive, and the three areas that we that we talked about was discussion uh, regarding public participation in our meetings and what that would look like. And the chair and John Elvell, um, equity director, are going to take that back and look at that and bring some recommendations uh, to the next meeting, which is next month. Uh, secondly, we've talked um, also about the extended time for the submittal of the FTA Title VI um, report um, because uh, we would like to see more public uh, input and engagement, and I believe that has been granted, and we'll get more information on that next month at the meeting. And lastly, um, we had a great discussion, uh, small group uh, discussion on equity indicators and what that looks like in terms of um, as we look at uh, changes to possibility of transit in the, in the um, TriMet area, what does that look like? What are the indicators that we're looking, looking at to make some decisions and going forward with that? So we had a very good discussion about that as well. Thank you. Any questions for uh, Board Member uh, Saragosa? I see that.